Well, today, Jeremy Christian, the man charged in the deadly Max stabbings, was back in court. His trial is still at least eight months away, but today, his defense team and prosecutors started debating a slew of pretrial motions. Fox 12's Brenna Kelly joins us live in studio with more on all of this. Brenna? Well, guys, today begins potentially three days of hearings for Jeremy Christian. There are 51 pretrial motions in this case. It's a lot, but this is an aggravated murder case and carries with it the possibility of the death penalty. And that's exactly what experts have been discussing for the bulk of today. This morning, 36-year-old Jeremy Christian came in quietly and sat between his two attorneys as they filed motion after motion. He's remained quiet through the day with no outbursts. Christian is charged with aggravated murder of two men aboard the MAX train in May 2017 and the attempted aggravated murder of a third man. Witnesses say those three men tried to intervene when Christian went on a racist tirade against two Muslim women sitting on the train. Ahead of the trial, Christian's defense team sought to restrict victim impact statements during the trial. The judge denied that request. The defense also trying to exclude or at least limit the graphic evidence in this case, including photos of the injured victims and the crime scene. The prosecution argued graphic evidence was relevant to their case against Christian. The judge said only that some particularly graphic evidence should be reviewed before being presented in court. And because this is a possible death penalty case, there are also some motions that deal directly with it. The defense called an expert to the stand, a psychologist, who for three hours discussed how often juries get it wrong when convicting violent offenders. The expert shared one study showing less than 8% of convicted inmates continued violent crimes while in prison. And though the court set aside three days for these pretrial motion decisions on some of these motions, those won't come closer until we get closer to the trial. Now, the trial is scheduled to begin in late June, more than two years after the stabbing attacks that killed two and seriously hurt another. In studio, Brenna Kelly, Fox 12 Oregon.